Hi everyone, this is Sabrina. I'm going to be documenting my travel experience from Vancouver to Taipei as a Taiwanese citizen. I decided I wanted to document this journey because I already know it's going to be such an experience traveling during the pandemic and I wanted to vlog everything to show everyone the process. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining all the procedures you have to go through and what my three week quarantine looked like. I started packing about two weeks before my actual flight, which is going to be on March 11th at 1am. So packing took a long time for me because this is going to be considered a big move since I've decided to relocate there long term and find a job. So I'll be listing everything in the description, but the first thing you have to do is go on the Life Labs FlyClear website and purchase the COVID test. It was even suggested by my travel agent that I purchase and confirm my testing date before I buy my plane ticket in case there are cancellations. For a COVID testing for travel, make sure it is through a clinic that will issue a travel report. You can book with Life Labs, which I'm going to be using, or there are some private clinics that also do the same but are more expensive. Here I was trying to fill out my destination country and excuse my language, but it said Taiwan province of China. But anyways, you were supposed to pay for a test first and then they will call to book a testing date. I paid for a test early afternoon and got a call from shoppers later that night. Stealing covers, I like to drink to myself. So I'ma have another no. I don't need a hand to hold tight, don't need a love that's all mine. But sometimes I just want somebody to talk to, someone that's on. I really wish I could have filmed when she did the cotton swab testing because that's what I wanted to share with everyone but she said no filming in the pharmacy so I couldn't um, but anyways the entire appointment was only five minutes long I thought it was gonna be like 15 minutes I don't know just the procedures but it was only five minutes long it was so fast um, the lady that helped me she was so nice so so friendly and she made everything seem really easy and calm so one thing to note for people who are getting covid testing for traveling you have to print out the document that life lab sent sends you um i made the mistake of not reading all the instructions <laughs> and i forgot to print it out but she said oh don't worry uh, i'll print it out for you so i just i emailed my document to her and she printed out at the pharmacy she was super nice for doing that thank you so much my mistake <laughs> And we sat down and the whole thing took like three minutes so she just like read the instructions to me told me about how i'm gonna get the um results in 24 hours if it's negative i'm just gonna get an email with the report if it's positive somebody from the clinic will call me so <laughs> i'm kind of nervous because if i'm positive i can't fly to taiwan <laughs> So I thought the entire console was going to go all the way up into my nose and that's what people have told me and I was so scared because I, I, don't, I don't want it to hurt uh, but then before we started she told me that she's only going in like one centimeter in um, and then swabbing for 15 seconds on each side and that was it so no pain thank god and it was a really thin cotton swab too so I think that was good that's it the second form you have to fill out is the customs form going into Taiwan. I did this beforehand so I didn't have to do it once I landed at the airport. All you have to do is fill out some contact and flight information and once you're done, remember to screenshot the confirmation at the end so all you have to do is show it to the customs officer when you land, which looks like this. <laughs> So 
We could be dancing in the stars We could be floating all the way As long as I'm safely in your arms And it don't really matter where we stay Cause, babe What? 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 Space makes me sad Eating them himself Eating the cookies she made me for the flight Hi mom Arriving at the airport, the first checkpoint was for people to buy a Taiwan SIM card so the government can contact you and track you during the quarantine. Luckily, I already had a Taiwanese number and I filled out all the forms beforehand so I didn't have to wait at any of the three checkpoints at the airport. I just showed them the confirmation screenshots. Right outside the airport is the line for COVID taxis. These are taxis that are specifically designated for airport pickups, so all the drivers are well prepared and they know all the procedures. While waiting in line, I had to fill out a form regarding my home quarantine situation, and once I was the next person in line, they helped me spray alcohol on all of my luggages and all over my body. <laughs> One amazing thing to know is that for quarantine taxis for destinations within Taipei City and some surrounding areas, all you have to pay is a maximum of 1,000 NT dollars, which is about 30 USD, and the government will pay the taxi driver the rest. I live about 35 minutes away from the airport and the meter actually ran until $1,600, but I only had to pay $1,000.
my days usually look like this. I wake up at 8 a.m. I eat a light breakfast, usually yogurt or fruit or breakfast my dad occasionally brings by. I'll rest and digest while watching Netflix. Then I'll work out around 10 a.m. Shower, start cooking at around 12 p.m. Eat lunch and I'll watch Netflix for a couple more hours. In the afternoon, I usually do some chores. I wash the dishes, do laundry, job search online, and then more Netflix. I start prepping dinner at around 5 p.m. and then I eat dinner with more Netflix and I sleep at around 9 or 10 p.m. And the days repeat. I made it a goal to not order any food deliveries and no bubble tea, so here's a meal I'm most proud of, my take on Oyakodon. A couple days into my quarantine, the district mayor dropped off a quarantine care package. Each mayor in each district includes different things in the package, but the basics are face masks, a thermometer, and garbage bags. The rest are snacks the district mayor might pick out, and I've heard from friends some people got books, instant noodles, and food panda gift cards, and in my case, this is what mine looked like.
third week of quarantine. To recap, in Taiwan, you have to strictly quarantine for two weeks, and the third week is something called a self-regulated quarantine, which basically means that you are allowed to go outside to run errands, to go to the park, and to go to other open air spaces, but you have to wear face masks at all times. It's recommended that you don't take public transportation and go to crowded places or dine in at restaurants. According to the Taiwan government, there are no official rules for the third week, but I still decided that for the safety of my friends and family, I would just stay at home and continue quarantining. But there was one day where I really wanted to go grocery shopping, so here's my first outing. No matter what you tell yourself I should have known that we could We could never be friends I hear you just thought we could But we could never be friends So that is all for my travel plus quarantine vlog as I relocated from Vancouver to Taipei. I'm super blessed to be able to quarantine at home and it felt like a long three weeks but I tried to keep myself busy. But again, lucky to be at home. Props to everyone who quarantined at a hotel. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and if you want to follow my life around Taipei as a job search and soul search, follow me on Instagram to see all the food I'll be eating and places I'll be going. Thank you!